All right, a little update. What do I see here? I see a radiator. Yeah, I finally put my radiator in. I'm not putting the condenser in yet because I got to put a strap down for one of my um, fans. But look at her in all, all this glory. Look how much room I got. So, yeah. This is actually coming up good. I was able to use my stock upper hose from the V6. Fits perfectly. And look how much room I got here. You could probably run your stock fan clutch if you wanted to. Or the fan clutch I can't, that comes with the V8. But, yeah, I got to get a clamp for that side. But look, I couldn't use... I couldn't use my stock one because I put in that location the bracket or the alternator will be touching. So I went old school. Using that same heater valve that, that I used to use on my uh, my wagon or my cutlass I should say. But she fits her good and also there's my steam vent hose. So that's so I just gotta get a hose. That's gonna go from here to the fitting that's all right back right back right back there <laughs> can't see it because the air filter is in the way I'll remove it once I get the hose in but I just want to I test fitted everything and this is my stock fan shroud what I gotta do is this oh, let me put this here all I gotta do is trim here and it'll fit perfectly with the air filter in place so that's all I gotta do for that <coughs> I know the oil filter is going to be a tight squeeze to get, but if you look here, I could probably get a long funnel and I could still put oil in. So it's, go it's good to go. So I'm not worried about that. Right now, the transmission is not in because, like I said, I got to wait for the torque converter to arrive. But my plan of action is to use my hoist, strap the transmission in my transmission jack with the bell housing installed raise it up high enough to move to, to roll it in there once it's in once it's in the uh position where it's going to meet the engine and the transmission then i'll just drop it right down and i could work from i could work from it right there because the van doesn't sit that low i could actually go underneath right here because of that because i got a gap right here like a like a slap like a slope and i could actually reach down there and raise the transmission that could work with it from that for that point on i just got to make sure that the strap is tight enough so that way the transmission doesn't roll off the jack but other than that she's looking awesome this is a very this is, has been a very good experience for me because you know i never would have thought that i would have put a v8 in this thing in my wildest dreams i would have just kept the wagon with the six liter <laughs> And kept the Vanda V6, but then I decided, you know what? Why not? You know, it's my van. You know, and she's not looking as best. I just got a washer, and I know the clerk was peeling, but she's a good old van, good old girl. I like, I like, I like her. And I also like my wagon too. But you see, see the badge for the wagon is a 6.0 Vortec, and now she's got her official badge too. Which says 5.3. <laughs> so she's official. So I'll post another update soon. Of it running. Probably gonna do a lot of tuning because this one's a slightly bigger cam than the uh than the than the wagon. The wagon's got a stage 1.5, sloppy stage 1.5 basically. And this one's gonna have this one's got a sloppy stage two. So it's gonna be fun. And until next time. See ya.